Hello there. This video is not about music. It's about COVID. After two years and four months, it finally got me. Yes. Um, I'm fine. I only had a little bit of dry cough and congested nose, nose you know, nasal drippings, but I had no fever, no loss of sense of taste or smell, uh, no body aches, you know, very, very light. Uh, very mild symptoms, um, no shortness of breath, especially I have asthma, uh, allergic asthma, and I was quite afraid of, you know, that kind of thing, but I have had five shots of uh, the COVID vaccines. I had two shots here in Brazil, the um, Sinovac uh, vaccine, which is made with uh, inactivated virus, so it's the whole virus, but inactivated, so it's dead, but it also has all the parts of the virus there still, and it trains our immune system as if the whole virus was there so i had two doses of two shots of that then i went to the us to visit family i had two shots of uh, pfizer uh, an mrna vaccine which is just a small part of the virus encoded into genetic material shot into my arm twice all right and after about six months back in brazil i had another i had a, the, the booster shot again pfizer so I have had five shots and that doesn't stop you from catching the virus, as you probably know. Uh, these vaccines have been designed to make the infection milder and less severe. So the consequences are not as bad as they were for many people in the beginning of the pandemic. But they don't stop you from catching it. They do lower the infection rates. They do lower how much you spread the virus, but they do not prevent infection. And there you go. I caught it like many people. This is the fourth wave, at least here in Brazil. We're having a huge number of cases, a big spike in cases here. And, you know, I I'm teaching classes and all that. Uh, ironically, I've been to a big concert of, I don't know, 1,300 people a few weeks ago. And I was fine after that. I didn't catch it. But, you know, this week, all of a sudden, you know, Thursday, I had a scratchy throat, but that's kind of normal for me. And for us here at home, we have um, rhinitis and, you know, allergies. As I just mentioned, I have allergic asthma. And, you know, my throat was bothering me a bit, but that's quite normal. It usually goes away by the end of the day. And on Friday, I woke up congested and all that. I said, oh, crap, it's either a cold for sure or something else. And I went to the pharmacy, got one of those home tests, took it and yeah. The little band there showed up pretty quickly, you know, after two minutes, positive. So, yeah, SARS-CoV. The, uh, the false positive rate for the tests, according to the sheet that came with my test, is uh, very low. It's less than 1%, which means false positive means uh, the test gives positive, but it's not real. You know, it gives you a positive result when you don't have the disease. Now, the false negative is higher. It's about 9 to 10% in the test I got, according to the sheet, the thing that came with the test. Other tests are even higher, according to what I heard. Some publications show up to 20%. And that's even worse, I suppose, because when you have a false negative, you get a false sense of security. It means the test showed negative, but actually you do have the infection. And they test that using the gold standard, which is the RT-PCR, which detects the virus genetic material in your system. Um, but in my case, it was positive, so low chance of being wrong. So I've been isolated. Uh, here's my mask. When I get out of here, my little music room, I use the mask because both my wife and my stepdaughter uh, do not have symptoms. My wife actually has a little bit, but she also has allergies, pretty bad. And it's winter here in Brazil. We have pollution uh, in Sao Paulo, my city. And, you know, we get pretty bad with the nose and rhinitis and things like that. So it's hard to know. So she took a test, the pharmacy test, like I did. Negative. And here comes something interesting. Uh, there was an article on the New York Times recently just about that kind of phenomenon. Um, many families are going through this. And some friend of mine, uh, I've been exchanging messages on WhatsApp and Telegram about this. Uh, a friend of mine, for example, he had symptoms on Thursday and Friday last week, like me, and his test was negative. And just uh, yesterday, Sunday, uh, his test was positive. So he actually did have COVID, but initially the test said nothing. So what's going on? It's happening with many families. Uh, one person tests positive, everybody else tests negative, even if they have symptoms. And they start more or less at the same time. So what could be happening there? 
Well, uh, mostly uh, physicians and researchers that they nobody's completely sure what's going on because it's kind of you know everything is new and hard to make sure. But what people think is that uh, the vaccines are to blame or actually to thank for because they lower our virus load so much that some of these home tests do not catch the virus. You do not get a get a positive test in your home test simply because the viral load is low which means you're also less likely to transmit the virus to other people. Now, you still can transmit, of course, because the test is not that sensitive, is a home test, it's not something in a lab, but, you know, it's a low enough viral load that you do not transmit. So, uh, that's good, but at the same time, be careful. So, this, this means that even if you test negative when you have symptoms, be very careful, mask up, uh, wear your mask uh, around your family or you know, outside when you go out. If you have to go out, if you can, stay home. Don't go out spreading viruses, even if it's just the cold, you know, or flu, even worse. Why spread it? Keep, keep a mask on, you know, avoid getting into close contact with other people unless you really need to. And, you know, take care of yourself and of others around you because other people are fragile, maybe, you know, they might have... Uh, immune problems like I had until recently. I was, you know, having a treatment for uh, chronic kidney disease and I was quite um, uh, immunosuppressed at the time. So I was quite hidden during the pandemic, you know, the worst of the pandemic. And now I'm not immunosuppressed anymore and I'm fine. And I'm protected by the vaccines as well. And, you know, that's it. Uh, be careful. Keep your distance from other people. Keep sanitizing your hands when you touch things outside, you know, of your home. And, you know, protect others around you as well. All right? I hope I have a better uh, subject to talk to you about next time. But until then, take care and rock on. Quick update here. Uh, today is Tuesday, so day six since I got the first symptoms that I noticed. And I went to get tested again at my university uh, at the... Uh, actually, the institute where I work, the microbiology department th does testing of the you know people from from the institute, and they do a more sensitive test and quantitative test uh, than those um, pharmacy you know, home tests that we take. And today I woke up pretty much no symptoms at all. Uh, my nose it's clear pretty much a little bit of discomfort in there, but you know feels pretty normal. And I went there in the morning and I took the test about 11 a.m. And even though I almost have no symptoms, I have a lot of viruses still in there, a lot of antigens in there. So um, the test says that above two, I don't know what those units are uh, exactly and what's the, the range, how high it goes, but above two is positive. Uh, below one is negative, between one and two is inconclusive. Uh, my number is almost 43. So... That is quite a lot higher than two. So that goes to show that even though you might not be feeling anything, you might, you know, haven't gotten, uh, you know, uh, rid of the symptoms, you feel fine, you might still be transmitting a lot of the virus. So be careful. I'm still wearing my mask, different mask today. But yeah, take care.